than what's going on. Gas prices right now around the area. Maybe you've noticed a little bit of a downward tick, if you yes. will. Stephanie Milani from AAA joins us right now. We are down a little bit, both nationally yeah. and here in Tennessee. Yeah, so the national average is down five cents from last week at 342. Okay. Here in Tennessee, we are down 10 cents less than, nice. less than last week at 310. Knoxville's average is 312. That's down five cents from last week, but still just a smidge over the state average. I was going to say just a little bit, but at least we're heading in the right direction. We are. This is the second week of declines. Sure. Now, most of that was because we saw wholesale gas prices falling over the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, last week that started to turn around. Um, crude oil prices, excuse me, were up about 9% okay. over last week. So this is also the time of year that people start driving a little yep. bit more when the weather gets better and that refinery maintenance is going to roll around soon. So we may see a plateau or even over the next few weeks see a couple of cents increase when we go fill up our vehicles well, at I was the pump. Say, especially when we get in closer and closer to spring break. Yes. And like you said, then the refineries factor in as well. So wouldn't be shocking to see it go up maybe right. just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this, uh, especially coming off the Super Bowl last night, there were a lot of commercials concerning EVs, electric vehicles. Yeah. We're seeing more and more people. Seems like maybe you taking that chance, saying I'm getting away from gas, especially yeah. with the way prices have been. <laughs> right. <laughs> so that's one thing that you want to consider, the upfront cost, but also that cost of ownership through the life of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So we know, you know, you look at a Tesla, there are some electric vehicles and, you know, the big name is Tesla. Sure. You can see some of those that are similarly priced to, you know, their gas counterpart. But on average, you're going to pay more up front for right. an electric vehicle. Now, I know there was a lot in the news about some of those manufacturers cutting prices at the end of the year. There are also tax credits that you can get to right. kind of decrease that gap. But fuel, obviously, and maintenance are the two areas that you're going to save money when you get that EV. So... I don't know if you know this, but EVs don't require as much maintenance really? as, yeah, I didn't know that either. I don't know either. So they don't need oil changes, uh, they don't need air filters right, sure. to be changed. So you're going to save um, anywhere from three to $500 on maintenance, but of course the fuel, you know, you don't have to deal with those gas prices. So an average person drives about 1,500 miles a year for the electricity just to fuel that vehicle, about $550. Really? Yeah. Wow. Gas? Uh, of course, of course, I know for a lot of people the concern is, is those stations, are they going to be in spots where I'm not going to run out of juice, for lack of Range a better expression? Range anxiety. Yeah, yeah. Yes. right. So good news is uh, there's federal funding, it's called NEVI funding, mm -hmm. that is going to put in chargers every 50 miles along specific corridors, and they are going to be within one mile of an exit. So. Okay. They're, they're coming along, you know, it's kind of like the chicken and the egg. You have to have the demand for the chargers, but you also have to have the chargers to fuel the demand for the vehicles. Right, right. And there are a lot of maps out there that you can download that will show you where those chargers are. And it looks like a lot of the major thoroughfares, we're starting to see more and more of them. But I guess a lot of questions are once you get out the rural areas, that's where they need to be. The rural areas. And if you're going a long distance, you yeah. just, you got to plan. Right. Plan it into your trip. Yep. Exactly. All right. As always, we appreciate it. Thanks for having Hopefully me. Hopefully those prices will continue to go down. But again, you might see a little bit of an uptick, so don't yeah. be shocked. Lori.